next topic is perspectives on explanation based learning so let's see what are all the several perspectives that are related to our explanation based learning that helps us to understand its capabilities and its limitation so first one is ebl that is an explanation based learning as theory guided generalization of examples we know that ebl uses its given domain theory in order to generalize the training examples that helps in distinguishing or differentiating the relevant attributes of each of the training examples with an irrelevant attributes and thereby allowing it to avoid the bounds on sample complexity that apply to purely inductive learning so why it is stated here as ebl as a theory guided generalization of an example is we know that our explanation based learning system it is purely based upon the given domain theory so what is meant by domain theory it is nothing but a knowledge of a particular domain so the training examples it is written in the form of an attribute in the attribute values the explanation of it is given for each of the training examples and this forms an a particular domain theory now the domain theory it generalizes and helps in distinguishing or differentiating the relevant attributes with an irrelevant attributes as said in the uh, safe to stack example of a tree diagram structure in the video number 7 so you can see that if i consider a safe to stack and if an explanation lighter has been considered we are finding that which object one is lighter than the object two so we are comparing which object is lighter so in that case we are considering the weight and we are considering the weight in return related to volume and density so there density it is a relevant feature whereas the owner of that object one it is an irrelevant feature the color of that particular object it is an irrelevant feature so that's why we say that an ebl it is an a general uh, theory guided generalization of examples next point ebl as example guided reformulation of theories we know that a prolog ebg algorithm can be viewed as a method of reformulating the domain theory into a more operational form so this reformulation it has been done in various steps or rules the first one is follow deductively from the domain theory for second one is classifying the observed training example in a single inference step so thus the learned rule it is reformulated or change changes in the domain theory it has been performed into a special cases of uh, rules that is capable of classifying all the instances of the target concept so now let's see it so ebl here the reformulation of the theories it has been done so now what is meant by this reformulation reformulation it is nothing but the changes in the domain theory so this changes in the domain theory it is very much necessary when we have an incorrect or incomplete data so in such a cases this reformulation it has been done by considering the rules that is the first rule is follow deductively from the domain theory deductively in the sense we have to know each and every facts of all the attributes and the attribute values that has been present in the domain theory next classifying second rule is classifying the observed training example in a single step so whatever the training example that has been there in our database the explanation of each of the training example now don't forget so what is meant by training example is if see here if this is a database complete database suppose if i consider an enjoy sport database so we had around 6 uh, rows if i consider so i had here 6 attributes like sky temperature all these so all these are what attributes and correspondingly we had an attributes value 
so now if i say that a training example means it is one particular row of a training example next this is a second training example third training example so that is the meaning of a training example so the second rule here is in a reformulation of our domain theory is classify the observed training example in a single step so whatever the explanation that is returned for a one particular training example it is been considered as a single step or one step so for example you can see in the above videos so only in one example or one explanation is considered that is lighter of object 1 comma object 2 correct so here only one particular explanation it has been considered and a tree is returned for that so that is a reformulation or the changes that has to be made next third point is EBL as just restating what the learner always sorry learner already knows yes the safe tool suppose if I consider an example of safe tool stack it begins with the full knowledge of safe to stack concept so how we are considering is first the safe to stack domain theory it is being considered so this safe to stack it is explained domain theory it is being explained in video number five so you can go through that if you need again so now here the safe to stack example it begins with the full knowledge of the safe to stack concept that is if its initial domain theory is sufficient to explain the training example then it is also sufficient to predict correct so if the training example or whatever the explanation that has been provided is sufficient then it is very easy for to predict it or to get the output now suppose if i consider an example of playing a chess game correct so in playing a chess game the rules of each and every moves of the chess pawns must be given in the database or it must be given in as a training example now since it is an analytical learning the explanation of this training example will be given to a machine so now if the machine already knows suppose in place of a machine if there is a human being is present so all the rules are already being known to the user then it becomes very easy thus in its pure form the explanation based learning it involves the reformulation of the domain theory to produce the most general rule that classifies the example in a single step so this kind of a reformulation is sometimes referred to as knowledge compilation thus indicating the transformation is an efficiency improving one that does not alter the correctness of the system's knowledge so these are the three perspectives of an explanation based learning so let's revise it so first point what it tells is ebl as a theory guided generalization of an examples so we know that uh, an explanation based learning system it is mainly based upon the domain theory so domain theory it helps in generalizing and thus when we generalize the things it helps to distinguish between the relevant features and then irrelevant features in the sense relevant attributes and then irrelevant attributes and thus avoid the co complexity and provides a pure domain theory next second point is ebl as an ex example guided reformulation of a theories so here what kind of a reformulation it is needed to do in order to perform the generalization in order to perform the generalization reformulation must be done so now reformulation it has been done in two steps so first one is deductively that is based upon the facts next second point is all the training examples it has been converted in return as a single inference step means for each training example each step so for example that is lighter only one explanation here it is considered suppose if i consider all the rows of a training examples all the explanation of these training example then i have to generalize and write one single tree so next point is ebl has just restated what the learner already knows 
we know that a safe to stack example here it is analyzed initially by considering the complete domain theory of a safe to stack so this initial domain theory knowledge is sufficient in order to explain the observed training example then it is also sufficient to predict it so that's why we say that the reformulation of our rules it should be done and this is done already if some of the knowledge is already known and this is called as knowledge compilation method so these are the perspectives of explanation based learning and it carries 6 marks